Hey guys, it's Shane here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last part, we finished up the interlude between Chapter 6 and Chapter 7. We're going to start up Chapter 7 in this episode. So let's get started. And here we are in Shiver City. Whew, man. Look at this place. So let's go ahead in the shop first, see what's going on here. So we got some maple syrup and some items. Oh, it's less expensive here. That's cool. But the uh, maple syrup and, a lot, and the super shrimps are more expensive. But uh, that's okay. So, yeah. That's why I went and bought the uh, maple syrup and the super shroom at Boo's Mansion because it's less expensive there. Anyway, I'll go and uh, heal here at the to uh, Toad House since we're here. Let's hang out. Toad House slogan is refresh your body and soul. Take a nap, sure. Sleep well. There we go. <sighs> Rest. Did you have a good nap? Good luck to you. And then there's a potato. We have a potato. It's a potato. It's a nice potato. 5 HP. Won't do you any good unless you cook it. That just, like, just flew out of the screen. That's that's hilarious. Ah, I love the music here. I had to remix this. Uh, let's see. There's not much going on in this main area here. Uh, let's go ahead and head over this house here. Let's see what's going on. Hello, Mr. Penguin person. How are you today? Starborn Valley and Shiver Mountain are both near here. But you'd better dress warmly if you plan on reaching them. Yeah. Warmly. Is that even a word? I'm pretty sure that's a spelling error. I don't even know. Pengy pengy penguin pop. Feel the rhythm. Stop and hop. Do the pengy penguin bop. Pop. All the snowmen in line to bark it at fifth super fine. Eyes and nose and cool. Musical note. <laughs> God damn it. I don't even care anymore. God damn it. Okay. What's up, bro? Anyone for a shaved ice treat? Strawberry flavor? Heart. Maybe watermelon? Hot, hot. Or my personal favorite, tangy tangerine? Hot. Ho, ho, hot. I have, I love frozen treats. God damn it. Everyone in here is crazy. All these penguins are friggin' weird. Uh, hello, Mr. Sir. People who drive around the towns think this city is freezing cold. I'm used to it. I heard, though. That someone in the world is hot, uh, somewhere in the world is hot now co covered in sand. Now that would be intolerable. I don't believe it even exists. Bitch, please, I've been there. <laughs> anyway, what's going on over here? Hello, miss. Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. You'd like to see my husband? He's in the other room. Please go right in. Alright. What's going on, buddy? Why? Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says, Herringway. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh dear, you know, you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. No! Mario's just emotionless, he's like, he didn't even care. <laughs> Help! Somebody! Anybody! My husband is dead! He's been murdered! It's a penguin murderer mystery! This is crazy shit. <laughs> What's going on in there, madam? Just calm down now. If you need you need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. Watch this, I don't give a fuck. I'm in the scene, I don't give a fuck. My husband is dead, look at him lying there. Oh my darling husband, somebody clipped his flippers. <laughs> That's funny. That's a penguin joke. <laughs> my puffin, you're right. It's funny because they're penguins, not puffins. The mayor's been murdered. This is like a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. But madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have reason to put this penguin on ice? Him, right there, that man with the suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in. You little bitch. <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Fuck you too. <laughs> hey you, mustache, are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you say for yourself? He's just like, no. <laughs> no? 
That's his response. Nah. <laughs> Don't try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? <laughs> yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I, uh, saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> Besides, he's the only one who came to this room. It all adds up. You're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. Yep. Mario, um, didn't do it. It's mean that you're treating him like he's a bad guy, even though there's no, um, evidence. Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. I never drew a trade for this. <laughs> God damn it. A backroom murder case. A high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist hit our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Yep. Okay. I think I believe you. This means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Okay. All right, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid that you leave the city. Okay. Anyway... See so yeah, how there's that. There's six minutes, seven minutes in. So let's get working on finding uh, where we need to go. Mayor Penguin was murdered in his back room, and no one has the slightest idea who did it. Oh, it can't be. It's like we're in one of Her the Herringway mystery Herringway's mystery novels. <gasps> Mind blown! How could such a terrible thing happen in such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife said the man with the mustache did it. And he seemed to be such a gentleman, too. Still, I guess you couldn't trust anyone who carries a huge hammer. Yeah. <laughs> I kinda agree with you on that one, buddy. Brr, how terrifying. It just goes to show you that you should never trust for your first impression of people. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm done, yeah, this is goddamn. Okay, so let's find out what the fuck we're doing. We can go to the right, to the east. We haven't been to the eastward area yet. So let's head over. Hmm. These Toad Sisters. When you hear about Shiver City, ice skating is the first thing that comes to mind, heart. Well, skiing's nice too, but not when a monster's loose. It's scary out in the snow, so ice city skating we will go. Yeah, yeah! Oh, look at the ice. And there's like a... Oh. Well, that's not good. Well, there's a key. I kind of want the key. Let's get this key. Aw, oh, yeah. Good job, Mario. Good work. Okay, let's go and get this key with sushi. Come on, there we go. Skating, you get that key. Oh boy, got a warehouse key, and there's a locked door right there, so that's probably where we need to go. Change back to what? Uh, let's talk to you. What's going on, bro? Dot, dot, dot. I said dot, dot, dot. Don't talk to penguin killers. I don't talk to penguin killers. That's funny. Uh, that's funny. This building's a warehouse. Nobody can get in because some careless guard managed to lose the key to the door. I can't believe I lost it. I ought to retrace my steps. Hey, listen, if you find a key anywhere, let me know. Oh, I already found it. Thanks, bro. Later. Let's head in here. Nothing much in here. Let's see. Okay, let's head up these stairs. What's going on? Oh, look, it's a spring. Anything in here? I didn't mean to do that. Uh, nope, nothing. Spring. And now we're on top of the house, and we slide off and go into other houses because house hopping parkour also into the chimney. <laughs> Mario, <laughs> defect. What in the? Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room through the chimney. Genius. Hello, how are you? Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Have you heard of me? What? Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking! That's ridiculous! I did no such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I, could, I would be too. It appears as though I should drop at the mayor's house. Okay, so there we go. Engage stairs! 
balls. Alright, then come on, let's go to the mayor's house. Alright. Uh, what's going on here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a thing over here. I thought there was like something, I don't know. Who even cares? I don't even care. Okay. So, let's go. And over to Le Mayer's house. Okay. Let's get moving. We're almost there. Oh, we're only ten minutes in. Oh, boy. Getting a lot done this episode, actually. <laughs> I didn't. I thought this would take a couple episodes, but I guess not. Okay. What's going on here? Hello, sir. Let's go into the, bo <laughs> into the bottom of this case right now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, you again. Have you came up with anything? Hmm? Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer named Herringway? What, what? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway writ on it? Bah, if that were true, I most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm, he definitely does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course, it's a message about his death. With his last breath, the mayor told us the murderer's identity. So, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer! It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots! That's funny. Oops. I missed out on that because I was pushing buttons. Mm, yes, yes, we were good friends. Ah, but that was just a cover so that no one would suspect you of this heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? You have solved this crafty mystery. Oh, come on, really? You simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over here to kill Mayor Penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. <laughs> hmm, this Penguin murderer mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. What the fuck? Uh... Oh, my aching. Ouch. Eek! My husband's returned. He's a ghost. <laughs> God damn it! Oh, good gracious! Hello, everyone. What's going on here? What? What? Mayor, we thought you were dead. Your backroom murder mystery is a wash. What a plot twist! Huh? What are you talking about? Um, I think I seem to remember getting to the shelf to get this souvenir for Herringway. Oh, yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was searching. Re reaching for. <laughs> Reading. Toe Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles down, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But, Mayor, here we're thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Ah, yes, so sorry. <laughs> I thought I, I thought it rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything is okay now. The Mayor's just fine. You must, re must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for a for the sequel to my new novel. <laughs> he hasn't even finished writing the first one! God damn it. <laughs> um, I have best the best intentions, but for some reason I always end up causing a ruckus. Hello! Sorry about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to River City, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? Oh, you want to hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see, of course. I'll tell the gamekeeper to, uh, to allow you out of the city. You better hunt bundle up. Oh yeah. So there we go. That's it for this episode, I think. That should be good to go. I think we're gonna go. Yeah. All right. So we've finished up everything we need to do in Chipper City. Now we're gonna get over to Starborn Valley in the next episode. So let's go ahead and head over here. Oh, hello, Chuck Quizmo. I don't really want to talk to you right now. Uh, okay, so that's it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This is the Sham Gamer. In the next episode, we're going to head up towards Starborn Valley. See you guys then.